Okay, so here we go. This is the um, Kindle Fire home screen. In the middle of the display, you can see our content carousel. All the content I've used most recently is right there, ready and waiting for me in one click. So I was watching a movie, using the Amazon Silk web browser a little bit earlier, was playing a little bit of Fruit Ninja, reading Wired Magazine. I can scroll back to the top. I can click on Rango, resume where I left off. I'm going to switch it over to Landscape. The high-speed dual-core processor, the high-quality 7-inch IPS display with 169 pixels per square inch, the form factor all combined to make the device disappear when you're doing things like watching video. At any point, I can pause it. I can go home, pick it up where I left off on my HDTV, my Roku, or my TiVo. I'm going to go home. I'm going to leave it here in landscape. And up at the top of the display, you see that it says my name, P Peter's Kindle. Uh, that means that all the content I currently own, my books, my movies, my video, my music, is all going to be ready and waiting for me the first time I open up my Kindle Fire. So if I go into the music library, for example, I've got hundreds of albums available. I'm going to switch this back to portrait for a moment. Hundreds of albums available for me up on my cloud. I can store as many as I want to, and I can either stream or I can download those locally to my device. And if I download, if I'm going to be out of Wi-Fi range, for example, I can play my music locally. Let's go with some Pearl Jam, near and dear to my Seattle heart. While the music is playing, I can go home, open up a book or a website or a magazine. In this case, why don't we go to the web? This is the Amazon Silk browser. It's got tabs, which makes it really easy to get around. I can go to my favorites. I can go to my favorites. I've got things stored here. I can go to monster.com, for example. Notice it loads incredibly quickly, but you know all the, all the great things we do in the background occur transparently to the user. So all the user sees is an incredibly easy to use and fast web browser. And the lower part of the display is my favorite shelf. So I can pin or I can bookmark the books, the, 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 the web pages, the libraries I use at the bottom of the display. And if at any point I want to adjust my music, I just have to tap at the top of the display. I can turn down the music, I can adjust the brightness, I can configure Wi-Fi. In this case, I'm going to pause, Eddie, and get back to playing something else. I can open up a magazine. In this case, it's Wired by Condé Nast. And you see that the richness of the color, the great design, the interactivity in the video really pop on the Kindle Fire. So what is that gesture to you swipe up or does it... It'll swipe up. I can show you in a second here. Let's go to my apps library. This is my cloud apps library so I can store as many apps as I want to up in the cloud. I can go back to my on-device library. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe because I think I am spitting as I talk, sadly. Click on Fruit Ninja, which is what Jeff showed up on stage. It's easy to get into. Start the game. This is another example with a great display, the dual core processor, the form factor all really work together to make the device disappear and make this thing really sing for games. At any point if I want to, I can just swipe up from the bottom of the display. I can search, I can go back, I can go home. I can show you that again. I just swipe up like that. The keyboard, the search. And I can go home. You get all this for $199. We're building premium products for non-premium prices. What are the graphic capabilities like? Do you have a dedicated graphic chip in there? If you guys have a bunch of product questions, yeah. um, Steve and David.